Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We've often heard the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child, mm -hmm. and our next guest literally overcame all odds from her small village in Zimbabwe to going on to educate thousands of girls. Yeah, she has been deemed one of Oprah's all-time favorite guests. Please welcome author and global humanitarian, Dr. Tara I. Trent to the show. Welcome. Oh, welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome, Thank beautiful you. lady. Thank you. Thank you. We are just so happy to have you here today. And we know as, as soon as you leave here, you're on your way to New York yes. to be one of the world's 10 only women mm -hmm. to uh, be bronzed in your own likeness, in your own image. Uh, oh, it's for Women's Equality Day. Yes. And yes. I, I'm sure you're just so elated to have that honor. Please tell me, what does this honor mean to you? Oh my goodness, I cannot even believe it to think that I, Tererai, coming from oh. a poor village and grow up without any education, and today I'm going to get a statue. And you know, oh. New York has only 3% of statues of women. And wow. now me being involved with other women is going to take us to have 9% of women having statues statues in America. Oh, so wonderful. That's just amazing. Oh, I love that. We need to get some tissue. She's tearing up over here. <laughs> now, I want you to take us back to when you were a girl in uh, Zimbabwe and you were kept out of school yeah. in your childhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. What, what, and you taught yourself how to read and write. I so did. Describe what that I was. did. You know, I was just coming from a generation of women who had been denied mm -hmm. the right to education. Mm -hmm. I always talk about my great-grandmother mm -hmm. having being denied that right yes. and I always think in terms of visualizing my great-grandmother mm -hmm. carrying the baton yes. Come on. and passing that baton to my grandmother yes. the baton of poverty the baton of illiteracy she grabs that baton she passes on to my mother mm -hmm. my mother grabs that baton of illiteracy early marriage she passes it on to me yeah. mm -hmm. and I reached a point where I said to myself I'm not going to take that baton. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. So I guess those days are long yeah, gone now. Yes. Uh, now you have your master's. You have yes. your doctorate. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, schools. Uh, you have 11 schools yes. with over 38,000 uh, students in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, and you've made it your, your mission to educate, educate people, but mostly girls. Yeah. And so why is it important for you to educate girls specifically? And, and how are you doing that? Because I was denied the right to education. Yes. My great-grandmother was denied my grandmother. And I feel I have a moral obligation to make sure that the same girls that we see today, mm -hmm. as we know there are about 100 million girls that are being denied the right to education worldwide. Oh, wow. And I so from my brokenness, I'm finding healing to yeah. educating more girls. I do educate boys as well, mm -hmm. okay. but I have a passion for girls. For girls in yeah. my village, for the first time in history, we have managed to send more girls to universities. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God. You know, you caught the attention of Oprah. Oprah yeah. gave you $1.5 million mm. dollars to help mm. rebuild one of your schools in Zimbabwe. So how did meeting Oprah, well, change your life? I mean, <laughs> meeting Oprah, obviously, <laughs> 1.5. I mean, I answered my own question, but I just want you to talk. <laughs> I know even up to now, I'm still like, did that happen? But it oh, did it happen. Did. Oprah truly changed the trajectory of my life oh, and wow. the lives of many women and girls in my own community. Yeah. And as you say, today we have managed to rebuild 12 schools, oh, yeah. wow. educating 38 thousand kids that have gone through those schools. I love it. Ooh, that's I love it. it is the power of believing in our dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, speaking of dreams, mm -hmm. when you're not doing God's work, mm -hmm. yeah. you have your own little passion for, just for yourself. <laughs> you do belly dancing. <laughs> what? I do. In your spare time. <laughs> no, you <know>. <laughs> Doctor, you don't do no belly dancing. Yeah, I do. You don't, you don't so do how, that. how did you get into belly dancing? I do. All things? I do. It's coming home to myself. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is, it oh, is, on. because sometimes when we work so hard, we tend to forget who we are mm -hmm. and we tend to forget the self-care that we need. Mm -hmm. yes. So for my self-care, I do belly dancing and I come home to myself. And I encourage women to do that. Find your passion, find your purpose, but don't forget who you are. Go belly dancing. Find something that you enjoy for yourself. How did you even get started to do belly dancing? Oh uh, gosh, I don't know. But I just <laughs> found myself doing it. <laughs> I think there's a lot about, about Dr. Trent we all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it too. It's a little yeah. spicy. It's, it, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <wait a> <laughs> 
I love it. Uh, speaking of passion, your She Shines Ooh, collection. Yeah. It's a line of stationery, uh, diary, notebooks, mm -hmm. and all of that good stuff. And it's going to be in like Target, Michaels, and on Ooh, Amazon. All and over all that the good world. Stuff. All over the world. You're busy. I, I am busy, but I realized early on that educating girls, it takes more muscles. And for us to be more sustainable, I had to create myself as a businesswoman. Yes. And I've been so fortunate and blessed to have partnered with Kiki K. Uh, mm -hmm. Christina Carlson is the founder of Kiki K, which is uh, a designer. Okay. And out of that, we have come up with the She Shines. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And Wonderful. it's going to be all over in the world. Ooh. Girl, you yes. bad. Oh, yeah. you bad. Yes. Look you at really this are. stuff. Yeah. Well, when you think it. about where you came from yeah. Yeah. as a young girl, and, and not many options, yeah. to now being a world-renowned scholar yeah. and, and all the wonderful philanthropic things that you do, uh, what does your journey teach people about the human spirit? Never underestimate the human spirit mm -hmm. and the human will. Mm. Yeah. Because the power is always within us. Mm. Yes, we is. can tap into it despite adversity. That's right. I always say despite adversity can be a blessing in our life mm. because it shines light on where we lack mm -hmm. and so we good. begin to say this is how I want to change my life. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're just so amazing. I can't even tell you. I believe that. Dr. Trent, thank you so much. It has been an honor and a pleasure for this you to so be good. here with us today. And she shared her inspirational story with us mm -hmm. and we want God to continue to bless you yeah. and yeah. bless you all for being here and listening and for the work that you're doing. And if you guys want to hear more about her incredible work from this amazing woman, Please visit her website at www.terraitrent.org.